Hello, I'm Leslie Blackburn, and I'm here to share from my heart about my transformation from engineer to sacred sexual healer. This has been about learning to let go. It started really analytical, type A overachiever. I have a bachelor's and a master's in mechanical engineering, specializing in quantum physics. I spent 15 years in the corporate world here in the Detroit area in engineering and engineering management. At school and at work, I was good at what I did. But it became about doing this list of stuff to acquire the list of stuff. Career, house, car. I keep thinking that just one more thing and life will get better, but it wasn't enough. In childhood, two things happened related to some breakups that were a lot, very painful. And I made two conscious decisions. I'm not gonna let anyone in, I'm gonna do it all myself, and I'm not gonna feel. Thus, the walls began. So what was the chink in the armor? What really cracked me open? And it was pregnancy and birth of my daughter, motherhood. And frankly, that started about the list of stuff, right? So it was, okay, I'm gonna chart my temperatures in Excel spreadsheets and I'm gonna go through fertility treatments and none of this was working and then I got pregnant and I miscarried. So I went through, do the fertility again, that will work, right? No. Until I let go here, not only here, but here in my body, where it's, I finally able to get pregnant. So it was about this shift, about a balance of not only the directed analytical masculine energies, but the opening, the feeling, the allowing stuff to happen. I realized that uh, my, a dear mentor of mine said, Leslie, you've got to let go of the steering wheel and, uh, and feel. What's your body telling you? What are your messages saying? And I feel, I was clueless. I had no idea what that meant. So I had to slow down. And that's what I invite all of you to do right now in this moment. Close your eyes, take a breath, and notice what it's like to breathe. So what's it like to slow down for one moment and feel? Imagine the power of bringing that awareness into your body each moment of each day. If we are so bound up, how can we expect energy, which is like water, to flow in our bodies? We need to let go of the old emotional stuff and junk and get it out of the body and let ourselves flow and open. That's what sacred sexuality is all about. Our society wants to put our sexual energy in a tidy little box and put it on a shelf and only bring it out when the conditions are predetermined. The reality is no. This is our core, it's our life force energy. So own it, feel your power. You create your own reality. Quantum physics tells us this. Open to the possibilities. Allow energy to move through you through breath and sound and movement. Feel how your past experience is now. Can pattern and influence your life and your sexuality today. So again, take a moment, I invite you. Think about your earliest masturbation experiences. Were you supported and loved and honored? Or was it hurry up, clean up before mom finds out? Notice, how does this pattern into your lives, into your sexuality today? My body and my life have changed dramatically. Sacred spot healing, G-spot for women, prostate for men. Deep body changes, female ejaculation, the ultimate in learning how to let go. Every woman and the men who love them deserve to know about this. You have the power to heal your body, to connect deeply with others, to manifest your desires, to experience ultimate bliss. And by your healing and connecting with others, you also bring healing to humanity and the entire planet. Now that is an idea worth sharing. I am Leslie Blackburn, I am Lightbearer, and I am a sacred sexual healer. Thank you.